Hello YouTube and welcome back to some Bad Squad Gaming. That's right, uh, it's your boy Drake, aka Bad Ninja 22, aka Bad Husky 22, coming at you live with some FIFA. That's right, we're continuing our Let's Play series. Um, <coughs> this will be episode f 4. Um, yeah, excuse me, I got a little cough. I ate some Taco Bell wrong, um, and now it's bothering me. Um, but not to fear, Dr. Pepper is here, and I can drink that all day. Ah. So yeah, um, my other episode is currently uploading, um, and I'll try to upload this tomorrow while I'm at work. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. Um, as you can see, I think this is the last match before the transfer deadline day, I believe. I don't, I, I can't remember. But yeah, so I'm coming to you with back-to-back -back FIFA episodes because my Minecraft video is not working. Um, I know it sucks. It will be up soon. Don't worry about it. I'm trying new programs and things like that. But it looks like the program I tried just isn't working for me. And I'm going to have to do something different. So um, believe in me, you guys. Don't worry. It's coming out. <laughs> um but yeah, we're just going to go and rape some more teams with this team because I am getting used to it. And we're just going to run them to death. And that's what we're going to do. Is get some sweaty goals and just go through the ranks. Um, I may actually erase some of this gameplay, so don't be alarmed if the gameplay skips around a bit. Um, I don't think you really need to watch, you know, all of my gameplay. I've been watching other people's YouTube um, episodes and I think I should just go over the highlights or like you know if a, if a build up play was perfect and then something bad happens like that goal wow he missed uh, if something perfect like that happens or you know something crazy happens of course I'm going to record it but um, for the most part I want to cut out all this passing bullshit so uh, that's what I'm going to do so if you know if uh, something like that, that was really close, something like that happens, you know, I'm just going to cut it out. Um, but yeah, I'll still have really deep conversations with you in the meantime, and if that gets cut out, that's okay. Um, so I think this time we're just going to talk about the game. <clears throat> I'm going to play Ease. Play him through. Oh. Oh. You got lucky, you punk. Oh, what the hell? Oh, look at that chest. It's from the black guy himself. Yeah, John Taylor is a beast. Didn't they make a movie about John, like, Dear John? Something like that? I, don't, I can't remember. I think it had, like, Zac Efron in it. I mean, I didn't go see it. <laughs> no, uh... But yeah, I really didn't get to see it. I just was wondering because I feel like that movie sucked. And no offense to Zac Efron, I'm sure he's a great actor. Um, but I mean, come on, man! Like, you you can't be a dude who gets shown the boobs by Vanessa Hudgens and then go and tell everyone about it, <laughs> and then not expect to be called you know gay. But you know, whatever. I, I, li I like him. I'm sure he's a good actor and he's a good person. But I can't really see him in anything else other than High School Musical because my girlfriend, when I was up at college in Kansas, made me watch all three of them back to back while we cuddled. And it was so stupid and I hated it. But, you know, you do it for the women. You do what they ask and you do it without questioning their judgment because that is their ability to do so. They do what they want, and you have to follow. So, yeah. Um, I love how I said I was going to just talk about the game. I I don't really think I... I mean... Oh, 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 boom! Oh, keeper was moving. There's no way. Um, yeah, uh, I, I can't just have a normal conversation about the game with you guys. I feel like I have to, you know, go deep in it. Like, hey, have some... Have some heart to hearts with these guys, you know. Show them what you know and things like that. I mean, I'm only 20 years old. I mean, <laughs> I don't really know shit. Um, but 
I'm, I'm a cool 20, you know what I mean? Yeah, pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I, I know my way around some things. I know my way around uh, movies and shit. Um, I'm, I'm one of those people that can quote shit just off the top of my head. My parents find it weird, but I find it delightful because it is funny to know. A bicycle to the face. Dangerous play? Psh, not really. Akin Finwa. Strong black motherfucker. Oh, get there. Oh, that was a poor decision, black man. Now we have no black men in the back. This is gonna end poorly. Oh no! Oh, good save. Keep on, keep out another one. Yes. <laughs> and he's done it. <laughs> uh, I would yell like louder than that, but my parents are downstairs and I think they're sleeping. And I would hate to wake them up because I would just feel horrible. I would feel terrible, and that's not me. I don't want to be that guy. You know, if my parents come up here in the middle of a video, that would be extremely awkward. More awkward for uh, me than you guys, but you guys would find it funny. Like, oh, look, he's still living with his parents. Oh, look, he's still getting on to it. Yeah, yeah, I live with my parents. I'm sorry. It's a fact of life. I've been trying to move out, but my parents won't let me. They say that, you know, oh, well, your money's all going to go to shit if you leave and things like that. And that's what my brother's telling me. But in real honesty, I can take care of myself. Like, I'm not an idiot. Um... But yeah, so and because I'm not an idiot, I'm also staying in the house because I want to get at least one more year under my ropes before I leave. And why why would I leave if my parents want me to stay? I mean, my brother left because my parents and him weren't on the same page. But I mean, if my parents and I are at least getting along somewhat, why not? I feel like that'd be stupid to leave and not have a legitimate reason. Oh my lord, did that almost go up our 90? From that angle? No way. No way. Not on Anyan. Dear, what? Good save, Keeper. Jeez. Alright, we going at it. Let's do this. Let's get our goal. Let's get our goal right here. Yeah, go. 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 Taylor, you did not go at all. You stood there. You piece of crap. Yeah, um, I don't, I don't really know how to, oh, 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 take it, oh, shit. I, I really don't understand why my games are so close, because I feel like I always have the upper hand in games, and maybe that's just, like, EA does that like maybe that's just what it is but I feel like I just I feel like I am doing better than what it shows so we'll see um, now let's go Nassery um, so yeah Nassery got the the goal of the day last video um, and I'll just be honest it was sick it was pretty nasty. Oh, here comes a good goal. Bradshaw, cross the body. Oh, that was so slow. Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> you didn't even have to do anything. You could have just touched it with your penis and it would have gone in. You fucking just bleh, threw up all over the place. That's how ugly that was. Um, yeah. I'm sorry. Uh, word to the wise, I'm very vulgar. I've been kind to you guys the first few videos, but I'm probably just going to start breaking out and being myself lately. Um, and yeah, it's going to be funny because I'm honestly really easy to get along with. All my friends are older, uh, except for, you know, Hinkle. He's younger, but... Uh... Oh, good save. But yeah, um... I'm mature in some ways, and I'm immature in others, and, you know, I'm very immature in terms of vulgarity, um, and it's just something I can't help. It's been something I've grown up with. It's something that I'm still growing up with, so uh, I continue to use it. I'm sure once I get older and I start having more potential girlfriends that are, you know, thinking like me and not thinking about just sex all the time, 
maybe, just maybe, I might be able to lose that sort of thing, because right now, girls are dumber than, like, literally rocks. Like, you could date a rock, and you'd be better off and have a, like, tighter relationship with a rock than you would most women nowadays, because... I mean, honestly, most women nowadays only care about sex and only care about the guys that are douchebags to them. And I don't understand why. And I think it just has to do with popularity. They'd rather stick with something that they already have versus something that would be new. And they also would also go after the guy who's well-known versus the guy who's sort of quiet and sticks to himself but stands for really good things. And I feel like that's a problem with today is that so many guys and girls out there are just having sex and unprotected sex even and they don't realize the consequences of that is that hurt feelings and you know babies and things like that that come from that are gonna hurt yourselves and hurt your you know your friends and hurt your what what the hell pointed the opposite direction and they're gonna hurt uh, you know your family and they don't understand that and you know it's just something I've always grown up with it's a morality issue but I truly believe that, you know, girls should be a little bit more mature for my age, even though they're... Because they're supposed to be, like... I think, like, the way they describe women is that they're supposed to be, I guess, four four years more mature than a guy. So, like, if the guy... That's why guys usually date younger women is because they're more capable of settling down at that age. Um... And so when a 20-year-old dates like a 18 or, you know, a 24-year-old dates like a 20-year-old, that's usually because they are about the same uh, maturity level. And um, they're easy to get along with. But, um, yeah, if that's, that's dropped significantly because not, not too many girls want to settle down. They want to sort of, they realize that they can have flings with guys that will buy them shit just like a normal boyfriend. But they'll just be side chicks. They won't even be, like, real deal boyfriend-girlfriend. They'll just be like, oh, yeah, we're, we're fucking, and that's okay with me. And I don't understand why you can do that and then complain when the guy goes off with some other girl. I mean, I'm sorry, you weren't anything. You said it yourself. Don't complain to me, the good guy, and tell me why guys aren't like me and then not date me because I want to date you. But you're crazy, so whatever. <laughs> Yeah, I'm totally not venting, I swear to God. This has nothing to do with my life. I'm just saying, it happens. And if it doesn't happen, you clearly do not know anything about relationships with women, and you don't know anything about relationships nowadays, because I always have fights with my dad as to why I'm not, you know, dating someone right now. And it's a simple fact that no one my age that I have found personally in my life is dateable. They all want to be side chicks or be, you know, you know, they want to stay in a relationship with one guy that is not nice to them over being in a relationship with a guy that could be nice to them. And they just don't want to take a chance. And it's horrible, but it's the truth. And he doesn't really understand that because, I mean, he's your father. He's like, well, when I was your age, I was already marrying your mother and things like that. And I was just like, well, I... I haven't even met my significant other yet, so chill out. Like, <laughs> I'm not going to marry a girl and not know that I want to marry her. You know what I mean? Yeah, you guys know what I mean. Um, because that's another thing, is that failed marriages are rising through the roof nowadays because people are getting married too early, and they're getting married when they don't really know 100% about their partner and it's going to be a bad thing if you see someone like me get married early. And I, I just, I'm not going to do it. I don't, I don't want to fail at something like love. Because I feel like I'll have no hope for the rest of my life. <laughs> um, lots, of, lots of people agree with me. But they also, like, realize that, you know... It's the truth, so what they do is that they actually, like, if they're guys, they'll actually treat their girls like shit, and the girls will literally stick around. Like, I don't understand, like, literally, he's like, yeah, I really do love her, but I don't ever tell her that. And instead, I just, like, 
like sit around and I just don't even compliment her. I don't do anything else because then her expectations get too high. Like I'm shitting you not. This is literally what a guy has told me. Like one of my good friends is like, yeah, I just, I don't tell her that I love her. I don't tell her that she's pretty every day. I don't tell her that she looks beautiful in a dress. Like I just don't set standards like that. So that way when I do set a standard, it means I really do love her and that I really do care and then she'll know. But until then, until I'm ready to tell her that I love her, I'm just not going to give her anything. I'm not going to give her any leeway, any noticeable signs. And I, I, I just look at the guy and I'm like, that's awful. Like, that is the worst thing you could possibly do to someone. But the way I think about it is, well, she asks, she's asking for it if she's sticking around when you're still treating her like that. So, that's my rant. Um, I guess we are going to watch all of the games, because... I'm coming out with some good deep shit right now, so we should totally keep this up and get some uh, knowledge by Drake. Yeah, that sounds legit. <laughs> um, yeah, so a little about little about myself, you know. Um, you you guys probably definitely don't know this. Um, here in uh, Oklahoma, there is it's it's you know. It's crazy to see that this is the actual, like, this is, Oklahoma's a part of the Bible Belt, okay, and, you know, all this stuff I've been talking about with, like, women and how, like, oh, divorced marriages and, oh, like, you know, teen pregnancies without even being married and, oh, like, you know, um, che like, just cheating on people and all sorts of bad things that happen and, like, don't, don't get me wrong, I'm ag agnostic, um, and, um, agnostic atheist I don't know I don't really know I'm, but I'm agnostic I don't believe in anything that I can't physically see or physically experience yet and because I haven't experienced any of that I can't possibly wrap my head, head around it and maybe it'll change in the future when I have something in my life that happens like that but for right now I'm just agnostic and um, for you bros out there that are just like you know like, are you guys out there that are, you know, really strongly religious? You know, don't get on to me for saying this, but in all reality, religion is becoming a thing of the past because women nowadays can go get their virginity given back to them by priests. What? Like, seriously, like, they can literally go <laughs> to a priest or pastor or anyone else and literally just ask for forgiveness and oh look their pussy's tight again or oh look their hymen's gonna be there and I, I'm just like what what the fuck like no no I'm sorry you no 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 that's not possible the only reason that should be even possible is if you got raped or uh things like that or like you know oh hey um like uh the people who get their hymen sewed back up like, they get surgically put in there so that way they will bleed again when a guy does it again. And I'm just like, look, you lost your chance. I'm sorry. You wasted it, and that's that sucks. It really does. But in reality, you fucked a man, or you fucked a woman, or you fucked yourself with a dildo, and it broke. And I'm sorry. That's not my problem. It's, you know, it's your personal problem. It's not God's problem. He's not just going to reverse things just because you ask him to like that. Like, oh, hey, yeah, here, let me do that real quick. Like, no, he has bigger issues to uphold other than fixing your virginity. <laughs> and that's another thing is, like, I believe that when you create, like, like, I believe in the sins, yeah. I believe that there are sins that are a lot more intense and aren't really equal, but, you know... Um, most people believe that all sin is created equal. So if I kill someone, it is the equivalent of me, like, lying or me, uh, stealing. Killing someone is apparently the equivalent. So if you look at the Bible, like, extremely like that, I mean, you're, of course, going to say, like, oh, my God, like, that's crazy. And you literally, I mean, you have to be crazy to think that a God who is all forgiving treats all sin with e equality. Like, 
really bla like the only sin that's above all is blasphemy and I could sort of understand that I mean it would be kind of a slap to the face to believe in another god and things like that like if I was a person and I created the world like I would be kind of upset if someone didn't believe in me and they believed in another god and looked to him for the creation and things like that but you know in my head I don't really think that so <laughs> I'm thinking logically along the lines of if a guy really did you know, love everyone equally, and love the human race, he would give them opportunities to make amends for it, which is, you know, asking for forgiveness. But I also believe that if you, you know, don't have a chance to make amends, if you just die before making amends for, you know, your sins or whatever, what happens then? Are your sins equal, or are they, you know, lighter? Are heavier depending on what you did before you went to heaven to be judged or went to God's side to be judged or went straight to hell like how does he judge that just off the top of his head like I just that's a question that I want to ask him because like honestly like if he is someone that's real I mean or if he is God like does exist how does he you know make the system fair I mean you can't just say all sin is equal because then there'd be murdering everywhere, and they wouldn't freaking care. Other than the fact that we enforce it, but it's like, if you see my point, it's the fact that, you know, how can you make sin equal and still have a society that says that, you know, if you ask for forgiveness, it'll all be forgiven. Because that doesn't really make sense to me. Because there's some sins that I think should not be forgiven. Rape, for instance. If you are raping anything... You just go. Like, we don't need you here. Like, I'm sorry. That is fucked up. And you clearly have a problem. Because not only is that wrong, it deprives someone of something that's theirs. It's... You can't... You're pretty much stealing and lusting and all sorts of things all in one. And I just don't think that that's right. And... Like, like, also, murdering, you're taking something from someone that they physically cannot get back. I feel like that is also higher up. I mean, come on, you're literally wiping someone off the face of the earth. Like, that's not cool. That's not okay. I, I just don't, I don't understand. Like, I, I really don't understand why that would be equal. And I'm getting into this conversation because lately there has been talks with people at work and people in school and people, you know, that I'm friends with about, you know, being atheist and, oh, you're atheist or, oh, you're agnostic. Like, oh, you just don't understand the Bible. You don't understand the preachings of God. Like, you're going to hell and things like that. And, you know, in reality, I've probably done less worse things than that guy right there or the person who's talking to me. And so what I say to him is like, okay, I may be going to hell, but what about when you did this? Are you going to hell? He's like, no, I asked for forgiveness. I'd be like, okay, well, the things I ask, need to ask forgiveness for would be lying, maybe cheating, stealing occasionally, like a pencil or something. Like, those are things I would need to, you know, ask for forgiveness for. And I feel like that's not enough for me to go to hell for, to be honest. Like, I could be wrong, obviously, you know, big man upstairs knows, but I'm just saying, I feel like that's not really worth sticking someone in a fiery pit of doom because he wronged a few people in his life. Whereas someone who could literally rob a person of their life is going to be forgiven if he just prays. Like, I just don't, I don't, I don't understand it. I don't get it. There's always room for retribution, always room for people to, you know, get better and, you know, increase their spirituality. But at the same time, you can't be a murderer and be a rapist and ask for complete forgiveness because it's not going to be handed to you. Because if... Oh, look at that goal. If if you think about it... I, it's like I'm not even caring about the FIFA. Like, I'm sorry. Like, this is just so deep. Like, it's like 1 o'clock in the morning. I am tired. I'm getting in to this deep conversation for real right now. If you... If you murder someone... It's not like you just committed sin. 
you not only are asking for forgiveness from God, you need to ask forgiveness from the family that you took the person from. You need to ask forgiveness from for yourself, from your guilt. You need to ask forgiveness from God. And you need to ask forgiveness from literally the person you killed if there is a heaven. Because in all reality, that person is probably not going to forgive you. And if he does, or she does, then she is a saint. Because I personally would not forgive someone if they murdered me. And say that that's wrong, and that you should always, you know, have an unwaitened heart. But I will not lose a single ounce of heaven sleep if I <laughs> don't forgive the person that killed me. I'm, I'm just saying. Like, I feel like that would be dumb. And if I was a family member, if they killed someone in my family, sorry, not sorry, I'm not going to forgive you, you asshole. Like, you just killed my friend, or, oh, you killed my, you know, my parents, or, oh, you killed my brother, or, you killed my grandparents, like, oh, you killed my third cousin twice removed, like, fuck off, do not ask for, for my forgiveness. If you want forgiveness, you know, take it up with the big man upstairs, I'm not going to forgive you. And that's pretty much how it's going to end. And... You know, people can get on to me all they want and say, I don't know shit about God, and I don't know shit about Scripture, but to be honest, I read the Bible. I really do. I try to understand, because I I really want to know. Like, it's just the unknown that just is questionable, because I really do believe that there is a higher power. It's just I don't know what it is or how to believe in it, because I'm, I just think so logically. I think, like, oh, look... I'm going to think linear here. I can't see something. I can't physically be controlled by something right now. I can't, you know, be like, oh, hey, I need, you know, this done, and it's done, and really believe. I need, like, something to be witnessable. I need, like, proof. And, you know, people are like, oh, well, he created the world. Isn't that proof enough? Um, with all the theories out there and how the world is created, I can't really decide if I believe that an all eminent power and being created the earth but you know could be could be oh man dude <laughs> these deep talks I've got shivers <laughs> no I'm just cold I got the fan on I hope that's not interfering with the quality I hope it's not because that would suck um So yeah, um, basically, um, oh, that's another thing. When people say that, um, being gay is a sin, I'm sorry, bro, it's not. He would have put it in the frickin' Ten Commandments if he thought it was a sin, not in the very back of a book that wasn't even written by God himself. It was a, <laughs> they, 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 like, it, it's, like, almost undauntedly, like, that Bible that everyone reads, you know, in America, or the U.S., has been literally, um, what's it called? Oh, shoot. Transferred and rewritten in different languages, like, so many times, 12 times, and the translations aren't even clean. They aren't even 100%. And let's be honest, if King Louis, or King, whoever wrote the Bible, uh, the recent one, if he's just like, oh, you know what? I really don't like the gays right now because they're throwing, you know, they're 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 disgusting, and I'm against them, and the church is against them. Then of course, you know what they're gonna do? They're gonna put in the Bible that they are against gays and that God is against gays, and release it to the masses. And I feel like that's a conspiracy, obviously, but in reality, it could happen. When you look at the Bible, you've seen that it's like the thirteenth edition. The 13th. It's been rewritten like 13 times. I mean, come on, people. You really want to you really want to get together and do a 13-man game of telephone and tell me how fucked up the word is once it comes back around. It is truth. I'm telling you right now, that Bible is not 100% his word. And if it is, that's amazing. And, you know, all power to you, God. But that's just... That's something that's unbelievable. I can't really trust it. Because, uh... uh an all imminent being that just is hating on one particular race or one particular, like, group of people is not realistic at all. Like, sorry, that's not an all-loving God. That's a piece of work. That's what that is. That's someone who just 
cares about himself and cares about what he wants because I've known really nice people that are gay and really cute couples even that are gay and it's horrible to see them get their lives crushed by meaningless you know um, banters by religious nut jobs who think that it's you know not okay to be gay and that they should be put down or that they should be you know locked away or some shit like that I mean sorry I I, I don't I don't want to see, you know, guys kissing everywhere. I don't want to see that. I mean, if you have a relationship with someone, it should be done indoors. I'm not going to go take my, you know, girl and just start making out in, in front of everyone. Like, I mean, I feel like that's something for the bedroom. It's not really something that you should be doing all over the place. If you are doing that, you're trying a little too hard to impress everyone around you. Like, I'm sorry. Like, you you are definitely being a tryhard at a relationship. And that looks a little bit fake to me. But maybe that's just me. But, you know, of course, if I've been married for a few years and I'm at a table, maybe a peck on the cheek be okay. But if you're gay, you're not helping yourself out by just making out with each other, like, nastily in front of everyone at, like, say, like, I don't know, a dinner table. Like, like come on, you guys. Like, be respectful. I'm, I'm sure that, you know, you don't like looking at straight people make out. I mean, I'm sure that doesn't turn you on. So, you know, you probably don't want to have people watch you make out and be like, Oh, that's disgusting. I can't believe they're doing that. So, I mean, that's just my take on it. I mean, if you want to diss on gay people, go ahead. But you, oh my dear God, Eves, you are insane. If you if you want to diss on gay people, go ahead. Just realize that you're a dick, and that you are dissing someone for finding love in another creature. And and I I just I don't feel why there's a need to do that you know there's also like the people who uh oh oh that was upper 90 there's also the people who like you know this on like all sorts of other you know kinky stuff and all sorts of other like taboos and things like that and it's like dude look shit's gonna get weird this is fucking earth we have like what eight point something billion people or trillion maybe no billion i think that's a good goal and you're telling me that out of those billions of people, we're not going to have a few people that, you know, start their own thing, and we're not going to accept it? I mean, that's fine. You don't have to accept it. I mean, it's all everyone's opinion. If you don't like it, don't watch it. If you don't like it, don't, you know, put your effort into seeing it. Don't put your effort into dissing it. Just don't do anything. Um... I will say some of the taboos out there are really fucked up, and, like, I'm sorry. Uh, if you're with your sister, that's, that's, that's really not okay. Like, stepsister, maybe, depends. I mean, I don't know. I just, I feel like it's just wrong to have the same DNA as someone and be out there, you know, trying to make more little people of you, and people are gonna be like, oh, the Bible backs me up on that, too. Well... The Bible was created in a mythical place where there was only, you know, like, two people populating the earth at one time. So, yeah, you're probably going to be screwing your brother and sister because that's the only way you can repopulate. So, you know, that's okay. But in a time today where you have 8.2 billion people, you don't need to go next door in your house into the next room and screw your sister. Like, find another way. Find another person. There's multiple people out there for you. Go do that. Um, yeah, this is taking a turn for the worse for this conversation. I'm just really tired. Um, I'm not going to delete it, though, because I'm sure you guys will get a kick of how stupid my fucking combos are when I'm tired. But, yeah, this is the story of life right now. I'm probably going to release another, or record another video and re release it again about me playing because I'm really getting into it. Um, so yeah, we're going to take this FIFA Let's Play to the next level. We're going to get a lot more. Keep up! Oh, oh my dear God, we're doing it. Oh man, that's close.
Oh, look at this clutch defense right now. Who are you giving it to? I know you ain't giving it to me. That's what I thought. Piece of shit fucking fouled me, you dick. <laughs> get up, 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 get up. I swear, I swear, dude. Do not, do not, do not, do not. Back up, that's right. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Oh, there it is. It's the game, motherfucker. That's right. I took the lead and I won. Yeah, I just, I'm going to apologize for all the stuff that's been said. I'm loopy. I'm tired. And you're going to get another video of me being loopy and tired and having stupid combos while we're winning. Um, but yeah, here's my second, you know, let's play uh, of FIFA 14 career mode. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, filled with some crazy conversations and some... Uh, crazy outlooks on life but you know that's my opinion and that's all that matters it's just an opinion don't worry you don't need to like harp on me for it um it's my life i do what i want with it <clears throat> uh, if you like my video leave a like um and if you really like my video subscribe and if you liked or hated or even just watched my video go ahead and hit a comment you know go ahead and tell me what you thought of it go ahead and tell me what's up because that's what I want to hear. I want to know what you guys are thinking, what you guys are doing. Alright, um, thanks you guys. You know, leave any comments about what you want me to do maybe with the series. And, you know, maybe I'll make those changes because I want to listen to you guys. And, you know, ultimately that's my goal. So, yeah. If, uh, you know, you like my videos, come back for some more because I'm coming at you with another episode of uh, FIFA Let's Play Career Mode right after this so hope you guys are ready and uh, just want to say you know love you guys keep it simple keep it clean and you know it's your boy drake signing off have a good one peace